What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I want to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE-33984-7 uh, or cannot obtain an IP address within the time limit. So there's two quick fixes for this. Uh, the first one is you can actually go to your PlayStation 4 itself, go to the network settings, and do setup internet connection. If you can preferably move away from Wi-Fi to LAN, that would be significantly preferable. Uh, this will help fix this issue most likely than the other methods. Uh, but if you can't because you're using a shared router or you're like in a dorm and you're just using like a public router or something of the sort, it'll be a little bit harder to do. So what you're gonna do is, either or regardless whichever one you use, you wanna basically not do easy, you wanna do custom. In here, you can kind of diverge and go into two routes. You can go down the manual route of the IP address and put in your IP address, your subnet mask, and your default gateway. This is very easy to get. You can easily get this online, but you do need a computer. You do need a, basically a computer. If you have like access to the router itself, you can pull it from the router information. It would be even easier, but there's a lot of websites and I can make a separate tutorial on how to get those specific pieces to input them in here because it's, it gets a little bit tough if it's not your internet connection and you can't really get said information because it could be masked. It could be via VPN. It, it depends on how secure it is. It might not be easily available to be pulled. So that could cause issues. Hence why I'm not kind of going too deep into it, but there are very, especially if it's just you're at home, very easily readily available to get. It's doesn't really take long but we're not going to kind of go into that portion because this is technically what's failing but you can actually still keep this automatic keep this at do not specify and but change the dns settings so this is where it can kind of help you as long as you have this component accurately in here updated you can kind of go down this route to get your ip address to basically be obtained within the time limit so you put your dns primary dns as 1.1.1.1 and your secondary dns as 1.0.0.1 uh you press next you keep mtu as automatic and you do not use proxy and you basically test the internet connection you'll see over here the ip address will be obtained successfully and you should see like a good connection download and upload speed and you should be good to go the other method is, you can kind of do this in reverse as well, is if you have access to the router, disconnect it for like 30 seconds. And if you even can, connect it back in and reset the router. There's usually like a small pin that you, or button in the back that you need like a pin to press with, maybe your nails, and it resets the router itself, which is interesting because that will actually kind of remove all the components from the router and make it kind of like, I want to say brand new out of the box again. So it might even reset your password. So just an FYI. Um, if you can obviously even go into the router settings and just reset it from there and even update it, that would be significantly preferable. The reason this reset happens is it does sometimes update the router. It will remove certain settings that may have happened because of certain websites or certain components are added to the router when you were like, I don't know, who have been browsing from whatever. So that's why I'm kind of alluding to the route of resetting your router so you're able to basically utilize it <laughs> and the kind of error goes away. So these two methods should work and you should be able to obtain the IP address and you should be good to go. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. On that, more coming out.